Hi everyone, um, happy hippies here. Um, what we decided to do is try this Hello Fresh. It sounds like a good idea. My son got it and he said it was good, uh, so we thought we'd try it with the discount. We haven't opened it yet, we literally just got it. So we're going to open it now and show you what's inside. And when you go on to HelloFresh, you choose the meals that you want. Now I'm, I'm quite an avid cook, I, I really like cooking. Here we go, obviously delivered to our door. Okay, so we open it up, telling us to recycle the box, fair enough. A more sustainable way to cook. I can't read the rest because I haven't got my glasses on. <laughs> um, what we got here, okay, this is exciting. So these are all the things that I've ordered. So the things I've ordered are spiced butternut and aubergine naan. Looks very nice. Tells you how to do it. Pictures and all the ingredients. I'm presuming that's all in the box. We'll find out. Uh, Thai style pork rice bowl. Stir fried hoisin chicken noodles. Pea mushroom and onion marmalade linguine. And Shermula, excuse my pronunciation, mm. spiced lamb and rice. These are the ones we chose. Um, there's a section that's, uh, I think it's uh, Chef's Choice, it's called. You can, you can choose other things. You can go vegetarian, you can go street food, which is more expensive. You can go um, special ones. Have a look on the website. It tells you all the options. Missing a little inspiration. <laughs> okay, so I don't know what that is. Is there so, food in the box as well? Yeah, yeah. there is food, okay. don't worry, it's not just instructions. Okay, so we've got a couple of naan breads. Uh, ooh, what's that? We've got some Barocca. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> How did they know? Barocca supplies. <laughs> <laughs> Spark your energy. Great, thank you for that. Hello, fresh. That we didn't know we were going to get that. What is this? Oh wow, this is very exciting. Okay, some lovely green beans. Uh, Egyptian, look nice and fresh. Very fussy about our vegetables. Uh, a little booklet which we'll read later. Okay, so now all of these have got numbers on them. So I guess they. Yeah, there we go. I'll just take the top one. Oh no, the one I couldn't pronounce. <laughs> Do you want my glasses? Shermula, shermula, spice lamb and rice. Okay, so 14, 14. Uh, we'll use this as an example just because it's the first one that I saw. Open this up. What do we have? We have oh, mint, basmati rice. Gosh, this is great. Harissa paste. What paste? Harissa. 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 Tomato puree. I didn't expect to get all this. Um, chicken stock. And, oh crikey, I can't, <laughs> I can't read that. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, chermula spice mix. Oh, right, okay. okay That's thank you what, very much. What puts the chermula yeah, in Yeah, chermula in the, right. the dinner. All right. Okay, so we'll assume that all the spices and stocks and things are in all the other box bags. So we've got another another four bags. I, <laughs> I'm going to open this one because it's so heavy. Um, I did I did sign up for five meals. Um, you can have however many you want. But this is our first one. Wow, are you ready for this? I'm ready. Oh, butternut squash. Fantastic. <laughs> Wonderful. Right, okay. So is that a complete meal in that bag? No, because we've not got the meat yet. I see, right. So the meat. Wow, look at this. It's like a fleece blanket. <laughs> wow, this is wonderful. Okay, we'll just right, put so this out it, the way just now. Yeah. Right, look at that. So is that insulation thing how uh, the meat is packed? I think so. Let's just check. Garlic. Ice, ice, baby. <laughs> okay, peas. Are they frozen right, peas? So frozen. Okay. So chicken thigh diced. It doesn't say what meal it's for, but I guess we'll, you know the one with the chicken. The, the one it. that says yeah. Uh, chicken. Yeah. 
So this is a oh creme fresh. Look at that. Mm. How lovely. And then oh look at the lemon. Mince. Mince. <laughs> wow, that's not a lot of mince. It's not. Has no. to be said. Yeah. But you know we're not massive meat eaters, so. Um, we'd probably rather have more vegetables and more vegetables and a wee bit of meat. Yeah, yeah. so that might not suit everybody. Uh, two hundred grams, and that's hundred and something, nearly two hundred. Uh, another ice ice baby. Is it one block of ice? We've got another one in here. Uh, yes, it's mm. like a just. You could probably reuse them actually. Yeah. Yeah. Um, or stick them in the cool box when you go camping. Yeah. So we'll. Well, we've only got a tiny freezer, so <laughs> yeah, we'll see you. What is that? Greek yoghurt. Okay. This is, yeah, very exciting. Right, okay, another ice. What is that? Cheese. Yeah, yeah. a tiny <laughs> cheddar cheese, okay. Um, pork mince. Okay. Obviously coinciding with what we've ordered. Uh, grated hard cheese Italian style, so that's like a parmesan, yeah. I guess. Uh, another yogurt, and finally, Greek salad cheese. Kind of small, but okay. Well, it's probably just you know that you buy it in the supermarket, you put the rest back in the fridge. Well, this will be yeah. what you need for that meal, I suppose. And you know what? There's no waste. No, because no. we will use it all. I suppose you could add to it if you wanted to, but that's not the point, is it? So we've got this, which actually, as owners of vans, <laughs> this could be quite a useful thing. Yeah, for, I think that might come in handy it somewhere. It might end up in the window or something. I don't know. We'll or see. a dog bed. Yeah, I I was, that was my first thought. Was a dog you get bed. a free dog we'll bed. <laughs> okay, so um, there's all our things. Um, yeah. It's it's for me. It's quite exciting. I, I always thought I'd like to go into that program, Ready Steady Cook, well, <laughs> where this, you get all the ingredients. And, this could be your opportunity. Yeah, this could be it. So, um, so yeah, shall, we'll, shall we come back and cook something? Yeah, we'll cook something and uh, we'll post that after. Right, we we've um, done a little video about when we opened up the Hello Fresh box of goodies, and now we've laid everything out. <coughs> excuse me, um, with the food corresponding the menu so I'll just talk about what we've kind of picked up on the way um, the meat's very small now if we were doing this ourselves we would probably have more meat that's just a personal thing though as I said in the last video we don't eat a lot of meat anyway so we're not that bothered by it but I think they should give you more meat. <laughs> so, all of them are quite small. Um, this is not the best condition of regime I've ever seen. It's a bit... Hello, not so fresh. Not so fresh. Hello, not so fresh. It's okay, but it could be better. <clears throat> Excuse me. The other thing is, um, where's our mushrooms? You know, the, one of the dishes is all about mushrooms and they left the mushrooms out, so a bit disappointed. I chose it because of the mushrooms. We love mushrooms, so that that's pretty disappointing. Uh, I think apart from that, it all looks pretty good. I mean, coriander is a difficult thing to keep fresh. It looks all right, looks fine, so that's okay. Uh, it's just a question of trying it now. Um, okay. Uh, Alan, is there anything you want to add to this? No, I think it, it's great. The, the one downside, I suppose, that I noticed was tiny little packets of sauces. Mm -hmm. Now, if you were buying a big jar of soy sauce, you would have it in the cupboard. You would use it again and again. This, obviously, it's, it's a different way of cooking. Um, it does seem to me a wee bit more wasteful in some ways. Uh, things mm -hmm. that you would buy a lot of. You know, you, you get a big jar, a big bottle of soy sauce. It stays in the cupboard for years. This way, you've got one sachet for this and you've got another sachet for that. You know, it's... It seems to be replicated and it adds to the packaging to a certain extent. That is extent. a good point and I hadn't thought of that. And we are, you know, we are big trying to be as good for the environment as we can. You know, the one thing that made me not, or considered not trying it, is the fact that it's been, being delivered to us, which is extra carbon and all Food miles. Yeah, if, yeah, <laughs> yeah. So that was one thing. I hadn't thought about the packaging, but 
this is terrible, actually. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, um, what, what is that? That's creme fraiche. Yeah, this, this is really bad. And I think for that reason alone, I don't think we'll do it again. <laughs> <laughs> you may, like, let's not be too hasty on that. Yeah, it might look, be... at, look at all this packaging, look. Yes. Plastic there. I mean, where, where's this going to end up? I presume that's sort of metal line. So yeah. that's, I don't know how they're going to get rid of this. Um, that's a fair point. Yeah, that's enough for me. It's it's not so much you know the amount of packaging; it's the fact that you are buying. It's like the little um, the little fish shaped sashes of soy sauce yeah. that are used in sushi. There are Terrible. billions of them ending up in landfill. You yeah. know, here we're we're, we're <gasps> getting away. You oh, know, no. we we should be buying soy sauce by the jerry can for yes. you know. Instead of that, we've got a little handy pocket size portion yeah. that you can take with you. So it's got its it's got its good size. It's convenient, and I, I'm sure a lot of people will experiment with cooking in a way that they might not have done before. Yeah. However, if you're already an experienced cook with lots of these ingredients in your cupboard as a, a matter of course, perhaps it's not for you. Yeah, I think that's enough. And that is not enough pasta <laughs> or enough rice. <laughs> so, yeah, the packaging thing. Yeah, well, we've done it. Um, yeah. I feel bad now. Don't feel bad. Now, let, let's review it on the... Let, let's cook it. One, one of us should cook it. Maybe it should be you. Because <laughs> I, I cook... I love cooking and I cook all the time. But uh, maybe maybe it'd be fun. Maybe I should we'll, cook. We'll try. We'll yeah. both try one each. Anyway. Hello. Oh. Right, well, this is our Hello Fresh review. Um, we're not going to say too much about it. Um, oh. We thought the food was really nice and fresh. Um, all the dishes were good. We mentioned them in the first video. The only one I wouldn't, or <laughs> I wouldn't not recommend it is chamula spiced lamb and rice. It was tasty, but it was only lamb and rice. There was there were no vegetables yeah. anyway. I ended up adding mushrooms and onion to it. Yeah, you, and you you also spiced it up quite a bit. Yeah, I had to add, that's the other thing. The dishes weren't actually that spicy. Yeah, but that's that, personal, that's personal taste, taste yeah. as well. So yeah, it it was good. I, th I thought it was it was nice. Yep. Um, the distribution of cooking, uh, we decided <laughs> Nikki did all of it. I yeah. didn't cook anything, but I did eat everything. So it's all gone. We've eaten all of it. Yeah, it was good. There was no food waste, and this is the thing mm -hmm. that they, they they emphasize is that because the portions it's already measured, everything's the, the right amount. There's very little food waste. However, the amount of plastic waste was quite incredible. There was a lot of it more than we would get in a, a normal week shopping because we wouldn't be buying individual portions and then throwing out the individual plastics. Yeah, it was oh. too much. But we, you know, I'm, I'm, you are as well. We're both, we're both cooks, we enjoy cooking. Mm. So we've got all these ingredients, we don't have the chamula. Yeah. But if right. we felt like doing that again, you know, we would go out and buy a, a tub or a, a whatever it is. We've, we've kept uh, the recipes. So I'm, yes. I'm thinking we're probably going to try them again. Yeah. Them again. Yeah, it's just, I mean, I didn't follow it, hello Wilson, I didn't follow it sort of by the book, you know, it, it, for me it makes sense what to do. Um, I think though, for someone who is unsure about cooking, has never cooked from scratch again, before, I think this is brilliant for that, because you get all your ingredients, you get your step by step, and you know, there's, there's, there's photos, it, it tells you exactly what to do, all the ingredients you need, and as Alan said, you can, you can do it again. So I think for people who are not used to cooking, sorry, um, it's absolutely brilliant way to do things. And it's probably not that expensive at no, the end of no. the day. It's, it's good value. It's good yeah. quality food. Um, the only downside for me was the amount of waste. Yeah, and me. that that For me, that's enough not to do it again. Yeah. And we don't need to do it again because we, we know how to We've make stuff anyway. We've got a cupboard anyway. full of ingredients. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But one thing I did learn... Um, is that the portion size is actually probably enough yeah, yeah. as far as the meat's concerned. And I was speaking to Louise, my sister-in-law, yesterday, and she said it's probably, what, about 100 grams per person I anyway. So, yeah. so we've obviously been using too much. Sure. No, uh, it was just enough by just the skin enough. of our teeth. <laughs> yeah, in, <laughs> interesting journey. I think it's I think it's good if, if yeah. this, if, for someone who's not um, very confident about cooking. I think it's a brilliant way to learn. And I think we would recommend it, just the packaging. Yep. Okay. Right. Bye, and we'll see you soon. Bye. Bye.